Coming up on the programme, join us, my little creatures, join us do as we take a dip into the fascinating world of Pickleball. I told you. But you can find out what it's all about in the next five minutes. Right, Pickleball. Let's get down to brass tacks now. Pickleball. Have you heard of it before as a growing sport? No? Neither had we. So when we had an email from Michael, hello Michael, telling us that around 40 people were meeting regularly to play it at the Wire Forest Leisure Centre. Well, we were intrigued, you would be, wouldn't you? And we were. Apparently, it's so popular that the Leisure Centre has had to order more pickleball nets to meet demand. Well, there was only one man for this story. One man and one man alone. Mr Pickleball himself. BBC Hereford and Worcester's Alistair Binney. We sent him along to investigate. Well, Malk, that is the sound of pickleball. Now, if you've not heard of pickleball before, well, it started out of boredom, actually, because it started in 1965, back in Bainbridge Island over in Seattle in America, where three dads got together because they were a bit bored and they came up with a game. They found a net, something called a wiffle ball, which has lots of holes in it, some ping pong paddles, and created a game on an old badminton court that the entire family could play together, and it was a hit. Now, five million people played it in America last it's the fastest growing sport there and it's even got some celebrity backing with the likers of the the actress Eva Longoria the basketball player LeBron James the tennis players Nick Kyrgios and Naomi Osaka have actually played and actually also put lots of money into the professional sport but now I'm in Worcestershire and there's no professional sport at the moment but it is very popular indeed I'm joined by a Michael de Groot who is the man who's organized all of this here in the wire forest so Michael first how did you get into this how did this all start well, I, w- I have a podcast called Share Your Story and I was interviewing a guest in America and he mentioned pickleball. He's a pickleball pro commentator and he and I went, what is pickleball? I'd never heard of it. So when we got off the interview, I started searching online and I found Pickleball England and then started looking for locations and was really disappointed that I couldn't find anywhere locally to play. So I went, well, what if I could try something myself? And I'm a member of the Wire Forest U3A, that's the University of the Third Age, anybody over 50 can come and join us. And I went to my badminton group and said, do you want to have a go at this pickleball? And I went, yeah, fine. And uh, we got somebody over from Pickleball England, they showed us what to do, and that's how it all started. And I talked to the leisure centre here and they got some nets for us, and now we're playing twice a week. We got about 30, 40 people playing every single week and it's continuing to grow. And just looking at some of the people here at the moment, they, everyone seems to be having fun because it's it's pretty simple just to explain the net slightly lower than tennis it's on a badminton sized court and that ball I'm, I mentioned has the holes in it so it's not like tennis where you can smash it at 100 miles an hour absolutely it's there is no strenuous exercise you do a little bit of running so it's really gentle exercise really and you're playing a game at the same time so you don't really know that you're exercising so it's perfect for us slightly mature people over 50 uh, but younger people are really good at it as well now let's just talk about some of the rules because they are quite simple because unlike tennis when you serve you have to it has to bounce on one side and but then you have to be able to return it and it bounces on the other side as well before any volleying can take place so it's not a game that is like you powerful serve and it's over straight away everyone gets to have a go yeah absolutely so they've made the rules so that the game can really keep going for quite a while so there's something called the double bounce rule so you hit it when you serve it has to bounce one side come back across the net bounce again before you can volley it then people run to the front line on the badminton court and there's an area called the kitchen where you can't stand in when you're volleying so that makes it slightly tricky to volley balls back as well so the the game just continues a little bit longer and it's good fun so this is more about skill than it is about power yeah absolutely and to begin with people kind of need to get used to the feel because they're, they're used to badminton or tennis or table tennis and they've got to get used to the feel of the ball and the paddle and once they master it 
yeah, you can see people are starting to spin the ball on there, paddle, and do all sorts of wonderful things. I've also become a coach. Uh, last October I got trained uh, and I'm now the only pickleball coach in Worcestershire so because we have lots of beginners I wanted to make sure I was teaching them properly so I'm also a pickleball coach for that reason. Fantastic well I might need a coach Malk because uh, I've been looking around there's some competitive people out there and I'm now going to have a go so I've brought my trainers along I'm going to borrow a, a, a bat or a, a racket or, or there's some people already looking eyeing me up as a bit of competition I think so I could join me a little bit later I'm going to have a bit of a go at this and see if I'm any good at pickleball. He'll be hopeless. You can tell he's going to be hopeless because he just called it a bat or a racket. And Michael explained it was a paddle. Oh, well, Lister, what am I going to do with you? It's a paddle. You've got to hit the ball with a paddle. I like it. I like the sound of it. It's a mixture of badminton, tennis, table tennis, and you use the paddle to hit a perforated ball over a net with a court. And there's even a section of the court in pickleball that's called, wait for it, a kitchen. But you can't stop and make a cup of tea. No, you're playing sport. It's a game. If you'd like to try pickleball, you know, there are free taster sessions at Budley Leisure Centre on Thursday. That's... Not this Thursday, as in tomorrow, but a week on Thursday, so you've got time to organise yourself. They're in the evening, half five and quarter past six. To find out more or to register for a free taster session, it's Michael, normal spelling, at wireforestpickleball.com. And Michael, as he explained, is a pickleball coach. We'll be back with Alistair. He'll be rubbish. This morning we've been investigating the latest phenomenon to hit the sporting world. Pickleball. Oh no. It started in 1965, did pickleball, in America, when three bored dads made up the game, combining the court from badminton, the paddles from table tennis, and a slightly lower net from tennis. That was it. That was pickleball for you. Now it's the quickest growing sport in America, with professional teams being launched. It has the backing of Hollywood actors, tennis stars and basketball legends to boot. It's also becoming rather popular, you know, in the two counties. Yeah, we sent our radio car reporter, Alistair Pickleball Binney, to the Wire Forest Leisure Centre. There it's becoming so popular that they've had to buy more pickleball nets. Ali met up with some of the players and the organiser, Michael de Groot, and he even had a go at pickleballing himself. Well, Malk, welcome back to Pickleball here in the Wire Forest. We've been seeing lots of matches here, a bit of competitive nature going on, which I quite like to see, but it's also been good fun for a lot of the people. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of a go at this in myself in a second, but I'm here with Robert, who's been playing Pickleball... Since September. Since September. So, what do you like about it? It's good fun, it's good fun for my age, and it's very, very sociable. It's, it's good fun to play with men and women in the same game. How did you get into it? I uh, just heard about it from Michael and then um, I wanted to play it. I, I, I didn't play tennis, I played badminton before that, so, um, and I just thought, but I was good at table tennis. Uh, how does it compare to badminton and table tennis? It's better on the arms than badminton. Uh, it, it's like table tennis because you have a, a flat baton so you can spin it where you can't do so much uh, with, with badminton. And it's, it's slower than badminton, but it's, it's not slow, it's just slower than badminton. Well, we also have Jenny here, who has, we've just heard about a badminton and table tennis background. You actually have a tennis background. I so, do. So how does this compare to tennis? It's extremely difficult compared with tennis until you get used to the fact that the bat is a lot shorter. Because at first I was hitting air shots <laughs> because I thought I had a tennis racket. But once you're into it, it's addictive. And I can see that, because everyone's playing with smiles in their faces and things like that. Is this become a regular thing for you now? Oh, definitely. It's just wonderful also, because it's guaranteed, because we play indoors, whereas at Beardley Tennis Club, we play outdoors all year. Now, I'm, I'm about to have a go myself. Have you got any advice for me? Watch the ball very carefully. Right, I will. Right, Mal, I've got my advice, I've got my trainers on, I think it's time for me to have a little go at pickleball. OK, Mal, now what we're going to do is we're going to try something a little bit, a little bit of a practice, this. It's called dinking, basically where you, you just knock it over the net to slightly to make it land just before the line, one of the first lines that you would normally get on a badminton course. So just get the feel of the ball, that sort of thing. All right, oh, I've got the ball now, Mal, and I've got, my, uh, I've got my paddle, my pickleball paddle, which is quite light, I quite like it. Now the ball's got holes in it, and now I'm going to bounce it and we're going to have a little bit of a dink. 
There we go. Oh, I like this as well. Oh, oh, just, I literally hit the net there, which wasn't the greatest start in the world. And the thing already I can tell, uh, as one of the gentlemen was telling me earlier, you can actually put a good spin on this as well. It's not fooling Michael at all. He's, he's obviously an experienced player. So I think what we're gonna do, we've had a little bit of a dink now. I think we're gonna move on and have a little bit of a go from the back of the court. We're gonna start, Jeff is gonna serve to me, okay? So this is a proper, I'm gonna let it bounce. Oh, and then that was a poor start from me, straight into the net. But hopefully my partner Dave's going to do better because there's going to be a serve to him now. Okay, here goes. Jeff's hit it, it's bounced. And then, oh, that's it. Good from Dave. Oh, and then into the net. We now get to the serve, which is great. And I think I'll have a go at that. This, very much like tennis, is going, going into the box, but it has to bounce. Okay, so here we go. In we go, and it's over. Ooh, oh, oh, me and Dave, we haven't got our, our tactics. We both went for the same ball there. It didn't go well. Okay, now Michael, here we go. It's the clash of the Titans always pushing me back. He's pushing me back. Oh, what a return. Oh, Dave's at the front of the net. Oh, there we go. Bit of running from me there. Out. Oh, like, oh, like I'm a Wimbledon judge there. Oh, Dave's doing the fist pump at me like he's Andy Murray. I like it. All right, I think final point for me here, and we're gonna, we're gonna serve. Here we go. Oh, I see, pushed him back. Nice one. Here we go. Jeff over to me. Oh, down the lot. Oh. And like much things in my life, it's ended in disappointment for me. But no, absolutely excellent from Michael. You can tell straight away how addictive this can become. Absolutely. That's why we're here regularly every single week. <laughs> you can be brutally honest with me. For a first go, how did I do? Well, actually, your dinking was brilliant. The fact that you're holding a microphone and you were dinking at the same time, that was absolutely excellent. Your longer shot, you need to get a little bit better at. Don't be afraid of the ball. Give it a good whack. Do you know, I think that's what it was. I wasn't given enough. So you hear that, Malk? I'm good at dinking, and that's what I'm <laughs> going to take away from today. <laughs> Well, yeah, I thought he'd be good at dinking. Was caught in a microphone as well, excellent. But he didn't give it enough. Well, he did, he didn't hit the ball hard enough. Our reporter, Alistair Dinking Binney, there, playing pickleball at the Wire Forest Leisure Centre. It sounded good fun. And if you want to have a go yourself, we've got some free taster sessions to tell you about. They're coming up at Budley Leisure Centre next Thursday. That's a week tomorrow. And it's half past five and quarter past six. Two different sessions. Any more? Just email Michael, the coach, who you heard in that report, michael at wireforestpickleball.com. Good. Well, at least he had a go. The sound of... The sound of where we live. And all the music you love. The music you love. BBC. Had referred and Worcester.